this is a very interesting problem where we have to generate uh, a, a rand 10 number generator from rand 7 number generator so this rand 7 function it returns a value from 1 to 7 with equal probability and we have to use this only and not any inbuilt rand functions in the library and we have to use this to get rand 10 function and this should generate a number from 1 to 10 with equal probability so uh, you'd uh, think that here we have seven values and we need 10 values so straight away you think towards calling this function multiple times so let's say you call this twice then how many possible scenarios are there we can have one in first one first call one in second call one in first call two in second call so for each call here we will have seven possibilities in other call to rand it's like rolling a die so there will be 7 cross 7 that is 49 possibilities so how we can utilize this uh, uh, calling this function multiple times in order to achieve this if we had the other other way around let's say we are given rand 10 and we have to map to rand 7 then what we can do we can straight away ignore some of the values and map some of the values to 7 and re uh, ignore the three values let's say if i get 8 9 10 ignore those until you get a value from 1 to 7 so each number has equal probability of getting of uh, appearing 1 2 3 every number has same probability so we are treating them equally and when we have one of these we return it otherwise we continue calling it so this was for other way around here it's opposite here we have less number of values and we have to generate this so if we call it multiple times we will have multiple values so this is the rough idea now let's see how to intelligently device it so that uh, we can achieve a uniform number generator from 1 to 10 so let's run it uh, roll this dice or call this function so we will get a value let's store in v1 and it's rand 7 so we can get any value from 1 to 7 but what we will do uh, if the value is more than 5 then we will continue rolling it and uh, let's say we have another variable v2 where also we capture rand and we we may need to call it multiple times so we will get a value from 1 to 7 so we have to map these 7 values to 10 values so what we can do we can divide it in two parts map the first half to first five numbers second half to second five numbers but we have an odd number here so let's ignore this 7 let's take these three and map them to 1 to 5 and these three map them to 6 to 10 so now these have equal probability 1 2 3 4 5 6 one of these one of these they have equal probability of appearing 7 we will always ignore so how to map uh, this to 1 to 5 so uh, whatever value here we will get uh, we will get again we will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 one of these seven values so if we get from 1 to 5 we save it in v1 otherwise we roll it again these values we will ignore now what is the probability of getting 1 to 5 it's 5 over 7 and this one is 2 over 7 so you will think that what if it always appears here then will we keep rolling so yes uh, theoretically it's possible but let's analyze the prob probability here so probability of getting 6 or 7 is 2 over 7 in one call so let's say uh, probability of getting 6 or 7 in two continuous calls of rand 7 would be 2 over 7 multiplied by 2 over 7 so it will be 4 over 49 so which is uh, mm, which is roughly 9% uh, or less than 9% 8% even if it appears 6 or 7 in second call also do it again so 2 over 7 cube so it's 8 over i guess uh, 343 now you see this probability is very small so you should get some value from 1 to 5 in at max two trials two calls of this function or in worst case maybe three calls not more than that you can look at the probability so if it calls if it occurs from 1 to 5 store it and now similarly here uh, probability of getting this 7 is 1 over 7 so uh, getting 7 in two consecutive calls of this is 1 over 49 which is very small probability so here also at max you can assume that 
it may take one or two trials in the worst case theoretically infinity is possible but uh, with respect to probability that does not look like that so this first half we map to 1 to 5 which is the value of v1 it's 1 to 5 so in this case return v1 in this case we have to return 6 to 10 so again v1 plus 5 now each number each of these 10, 10 numbers have equal probability of appearing why because 1 2 3 and 4 5 6 these are equal in all aspects the probability of getting either 1 2 or 3 is same as probability of getting 4 5 or 6 in this case we are just returning this value in the other case we are adding 5 to it so we have mapped uh, we have got a number from this number is 1 to 5 and here we have added 5 to each of this, these so if it's 1 it will map to 6 if it's 2 7 8 9 10 6 to 10 and this is what we will do there can be many 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 more ways of doing it let's say you roll this dice or call this function twice you get 49 possibilities and uh, you map let's say 1 to 10 so let's call this from 1 to 49 so 1 to 10 map to 1 to 10 again 11 to 20 map to 1 to 10 21 to 30 map 1 to 10 similarly uh, 31 to 40 map 1 to 10 and ignore the remaining values so that is also another way but uh, this uh, we will code this approach and it looks elegant and it should be very simple just four lines of code So this function is given to us it's written here now while v1 is more than 5 continue uh, calling this function while b v2 is equal to 7 again the probability for this is 1 over 7 but in two consecutive calls again getting 7 is 1 over 49 and probability of getting 7 in 3 consecutive calls of rand 7 is 1 over 343 which is very very small now let's uh, return if uh, v2 is less than equal to 3 that is first half then return v1 else return v1 plus 5 and let's submit it and the solution is accepted so here uh, clearly if you run it once or twice or even multiple times the chance of matching with the expected output is very 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 less almost close to zero so uh, here the judging criteria will be that if it's called for this rand 10 is called let's say huge number of times thousands of time then uh, it should equally bucketize those outputs into 1 to 10 so roughly this would be equal number of times so that will be the judging criteria and the solution is accepted and if you see at the time complexity it's here 59.20 percent let's try again now it's here 95 percent so i'm pretty sure if you run it quite a few times you will get here 99 percent So what is the time complexity here so if you look at the probability then this will be done in constant time uh, only uh, i assume in one or two calls of rand 7 we should exit these loops or these loops may not be called at all with a high chance this straight away in one calls we should get this value but if it's not the case we may need to call it two times or in very worst case three times theoretically infinity but average case it should be constant time now let's uh, write, write the same thing in java and python i don't think here we need to make any change uh, so let's see if it compiles okay so we can go ahead and submit and the solution is accepted in java also and here also we are right on top Finally, let's do it in Python 3. There are slight syntactical changes are required, not more than that.
and the python solution is also accepted